Hey everybody, welcome back to Murphy's Law Garage. This is Dave. Hey everybody, welcome back. This is Murphy's Law Outdoors. I'm sorry, delete all that. So today we are talking about shotguns. More importantly, left-handed shotguns to be exact. So stick around if you're interested in left-handed shotguns, if you're in the market for a left-handed shotgun, if you're a left-handed shooter but always shot right-handed guns, we'll talk a little about it, all right? Stick around. So the big difference between left-handed and right-handed shotguns in the semi-automatic world is where it ejects, right? All right, this one right here is the Beretta A400 Extremes left-handed gun. It ejects out of the left-hand side, right, like every left-handed gun should. All right, something else about with left-handed guns um, or even right-handed guns, you can, with these, a lot of these guns today, you can change the cast of the stock. All right, so what does that do? So instead of the stock being perfectly in line, okay, the stock can be cast on where it would come and go a little bit, you know, to, to the left of the gun or a little bit to the right of the gun would be cast off. A left-handed would want it cast off. So when you put it on your left shoulder, you're looking down the middle of the barrel, right? Opposite for a right-handed gun um, in the world of Benelli's, use this right here it goes in a stock Brettas work differently so um Breda a400 extreme unico left-handed gun so if you're in the market i'm gonna talk a little bit about this one it's a gas gun okay so you got a gas piston takes up a lot of recoil you have the kickoff system by beretta takes up a lot of recoil um i don't know if you can see sitting here but this is the benelli super black eagle 2 a three and a half inch magnum load in this gun kicks less than a three inch load in this in this Benelli. Okay, so gas gun versus inertia gun recoil. The the gas gun will always kick less. Just common common fact. All right. So if you're in the market, this is the Beretta. Now the things the Beretta the, what the Beretta has that wins is. All the controls on the left hand side obviously the action is on the left hand side of the receiver the release is on the left hand side of the receiver in a neutral position the uh, little button to lock the action back is in the center okay so neutral position there what matter if you're left or right handed it's in the middle okay so something else this Beretta has is a flat rib all right so some guns will have a raised rib. Some people like it, some people don't. This one just has a flat rib, does not have a center bead. Excuse me, just has a little fiber optic uh, side at the end. All right, so the Breda A400. I can tell you this is the only 12 gauge shotgun I've been around that will cycle one ounce loads. I'm sorry, this is the only 12 gauge semi-automatic 12 gauge semi-automatic shotgun that I've been around that will cycle one ounce loads, light game target loads, all day long, no questions asked. I've never had, um, when you saw my last video, the Remington 1100 obviously didn't do it. Uh, it had a, it has a hard time for one and eight ounce loads, okay? Um, Super Black Eagle 2 doesn't do it. Super Black Eagle 1 doesn't do it. Franke doesn't do it. The Remington V3 doesn't do it, okay? This one does it. If you're looking to shoot one ounce loads and have almost zero recoil, all right, and you're looking for a left-handed gun, or if you're just in the market for a shotgun that'll shoot one ounce loads, a semi-automatic shotgun that'll shoot one ounce loads all day long, no questions asked, Beretta. That's all I'm saying, all right? So, Beretta 400 Extreme, flat rib, no center bead, gas gun, so it takes up a lot more recoil than the inertia guns, okay? You feel you feel that recoil a lot less with a gas gun than you do an inertia gun, all right? And then Beretta has this kickoff system, a little thicker pad, it helps out a whole lot as well. All right, so the Beretta A400 Extreme. This one is my baby, okay? Pretty empty. Super Black Eagle 2 by Benelli. I've had this gun 11 years. My wife and I's first date 
you know, started dating in college. I was going to take her out to dinner. Went to pick her up, got a phone call. This baby showed up at the local gun shop and was ready for me to go pick her up. So, what did we do? Hey, I'm sorry, before we go eat supper, we got to go pick up something. Went get this. And then she knew she, she knew what she was getting herself into. She knew she was getting with someone who was into hunting, obviously because they were going to um, spend decent money on equipment for hunting, even though we were in college and, you know, I didn't have a lot of money anyway. But I saved up for this because I worked my tail off and I got it. All right, so besides the point, the difference with the Benelli left-handed gun versus the Beretta. Again, ejects on the left side, right? But the controls on the right side, okay? So your release as well as your little button here to lock the action back, okay? If anybody knows what that's actually called, drop it in the comments section below because I don't know what it's actually called, all right? So this gun, you can also change the cast. You can shim it. That's what this is here. Okay, you shim, cast. This is, a, these, this is for a Benelli gun. I just put, put them out there so you can see. Uh, if it says SX on it, that means left-handed. It says DX, means right-handed. Okay? So something else about the Benelli. Inertia gun, meaning there is no gas piston up here. Because there's no gas piston up there, this is much slender, is allowed to be much slender than the gas gun, right? Because you got nothing really up there but a tube. Also, down in the stock, you have the inertia spring that does manage some recoil, but again, like I said, you put in a three inch heavy duck load in here, three and a half inch heavy duck load in the Beretta, the Beretta's still kicking less, okay? That's the honest truth, and I take this more often than I take the Beretta. Bad part about the Beretta, I bought it and I can't leave this one at home. All right, I, I, can't, I can't leave it at home. It's been too good to me for the last 11 seasons to take the Beretta. I'm sorry, I love this gun. All right, so the other thing about it being a little slender is it's lighter weight, all right? I would imagine three quarters of a pound to a pound lighter than the Beretta. Now, if you don't like camo, Beretta also makes a wood gun. Their Explorer series in a 12 gauge that is left handed. All right, that's the only two left handed guns that Beretta make that are semi automatics. Uh, oh, I'm sorry, the A400 Extreme Plus. So they make three the A400 Extreme Unico, Extreme Plus, and then the Explorer Action Shotguns guns uh, are all 12 gauges and all, you know, have a left handed option. Um, Benelli makes the Super Black Eagle 3 now, the Benelli M2, and the Montefeltro in left-handed guns. All three 12 gauges, the Benelli M2 has a 20 gauge option that is left-handed, okay? So Benelli has this Comfortech stock, okay? You can see the little foam inserts right here, foam uh, cheek rest right here on top of the comb. It is to help you with the recoil. Like I said, the gun, the gun does help with the recoil compared to some other guns, but it still can put a beating on you, okay? Now, it's not a Winchester SX4. For whatever reason, that thing will smack you around. And it's a gas gun, you think, okay, well, David, you just said gas guns typically kick less. Typically, yes. The SX4, I have no idea what his problem is. It's just angry at the world. It beats you up. All right, it's like the, it's like, you know, Mossberg 835, 935, they'll beat you up too. All right, so, um, something different about this gun compared to the other one is a raised rib. If y'all can see this, the rib comes up and it's raised. All right, some people don't like that because it messes with their shot plane. I personally, I don't know. It doesn't make a difference to me. I can grab either of these guns, go shoot around the clays, and I'll probably do just fine. Um, but I also shoot a lot. Um, okay, so we'll get back to that though in a second. Um, the other thing is this one has a middle bead. All right, 
so you got a little bead to line them up with this one i personally like it all right uh when i bought the beretta i didn't really notice it at first but it doesn't have one like you said and uh, i mean i i have taken it out on a, a couple hunts i've let my nephew use it um he came with me on a pheasant and quail hunt that we did in an out of state and uh, he shot it just fine okay so i naturally i was shooting this my dad was with me he was shooting his super vinci i'm sure and my nephew shot this and we all killed pheasants we all killed quail we had a great time people who get to do that on a regular basis i'm jealous we don't have that in south louisiana but anyway um so benelli super black eagle 2 is the super black eagle 3 much different i honestly don't know you hear people say that the super black eagle 3 is better more reliable everything is great you hear some people say uh they took a step back when they went from the two to three the two was a more superior shotgun i can't talk myself into getting a three and i'll tell you why in just a second the reason is this bad boy right here this is a left-handed obviously benelli m2 20 gauge i bought this for my wife went in the gun store it was a left-handed gun it was sitting there it was 300 dollars cheaper than its right hand counterpart because it evidently had been sitting on the shelf for so long i said i'll take it i think i got it for right at a thousand dollars i said i'll take it walk through the door with it naturally I got some Mr. Potato Head angry eyes from the wife, right? She took a dead. Okay. I said, it's for you. This is yours. What's in this box is yours. So she perked up, opened it up, shouldered it. She loves it. It's great. Staying weight is probably at the most six pounds. All right. Maybe, maybe six and a quarter pounds at the most. Staying is awesome. Okay. I can tell you this. If I would have shot this gun before i bought the beretta i'd have never bought the beretta i literally i went i got this on a saturday went back the following monday or tuesday and got the beretta why did she let me get the beretta i don't know but i'm sure glad it she did because it is a cool gun to have make it part of the collection all right i like it anyway if i would have shot this gun first though i would have bought another one of these and then just hung up the 12 gauge because let me tell you this 20 gauge is amazing for those who have not jumped on the bandwagon of the 20 gauge duck hunting and everything else it's more than what it's more than just a fad i mean it's true life this gun weighs nothing okay um recoil some three and a, uh i'm sorry three and some three inch heavy duck loads when I, when I say heavy i mean some one ounce you know duck loads hardly no recoil it, it's awesome i took this out with a buddy of mine for for the first time my first time taking a duck hunting and dude it was it was awesome all right i would, he laughed at me for bringing a 20 gauge i was dropping ducks he was impressed i think he shoots a 20 gauge now i think he leaves a 12 at home so um it's not a fad it's here to stay the 20 gauge is awesome now, obviously, when me and the wife go hunting together, this is her gun. So, this is what she shoots. Um, but if I, for whatever reason, go without her, this is what I shoot. I love it. So, Benelli M2, the only 20 gauge that I could find, semi automatic 20 gauge that I can find on the market. If I'm wrong, please let me know because I may need to go add that one to the collection as well. Same as the super black eagle 2 left-handed gun controls on the right side okay whatever i've gotten used to it if you feel like you would have a problem with that stick with the beretta um it's because it's it's just it's a goofy thing okay evidently not enough engineering went into it by benelli but it works just fine okay has a beat in the middle has the raised rib just like the True Black Eagle 2 does. Okay. Again, I like the raised rib. So if you don't like a raised rib, you don't want this. 
if you're okay with a raised rib or you'll learn to shoot, you know, you like it or you think you'll try it out no matter what. Benelli M2 20 gauge. I love it. Can't say enough about it. I think everybody should have one. All right. So these are the three left-handed um, semi-automatic shotguns that I own. So do you need a left-handed shotgun if you're left-handed? No, you don't. I mean, I spent the first however many years shooting right-handed shotguns. Action open, it's empty. This one we're going to talk about in the next video, specifically. But it's a, just because it's right here. It's a right-handed gun. Okay, obviously, your shoulder, if you're a left-handed person, is going to eject in front of your face. Some people don't like that, okay? I've gotten used to it. Like I said, these are the only left-handed semi-automatic shotguns I have. Everything else I have is, is, is right-handed. Um, I don't have a problem with it. I've gotten used to it. Um, I used to have an issue with certain loads putting dust in my eyes. Okay, I was shooting some... Uh, I don't even remember what brand they were. I was shooting some dove loads something cheap that you know whenever i was probably 12 13 years old out of that old remington 1100 that would throw dust in my eyes as they would eject once i stopped using those shells i never had the issue again so doesn't really make a difference now um so do you need a left-handed gun if you're left-handed no you don't but it gives you another reason to buy a gun which is i mean that's the biggest tip i have of the day any reason to buy a gun is a good reason. Okay, so um, a left hand, I mean a right-handed gun, left-handed shooter. Again, next video we'll talk about this one in particular, but that will say that for another day. This is a gun I really like. Watch the next video. I'll talk more about it. But if you want to see something. I don't know, I just decided to bring it. This is an old double barrel 20 gauge that I have. Um, we're going to call this an ambidextrous gun. Why? I don't know. Maybe maybe a real left-handed side-by-side. You know, you would pull it the other way to open it. Maybe if someone has a left-handed left -handed, side-by-side, you could tell me. But I would imagine that they would all just flip open. I don't know that for a fact. Drop it in the comments down below if you know the answer. But safety's on top, okay, right? Um, don't have to worry about shells coming and flying at you when after you shoot, but once you break the barrel open, obviously they'll come shooting out at you. So, ambidextrous gun, who cares? All right, so if you're in the market for a left-handed shotgun, if you want a 20 gauge, Benelli M2 is the only thing out there, it's the only is the only thing in town, the only game in town, as they say. Um, Beretta makes an excellent left-handed 12 gauge. Benelli makes an excellent left-handed 12 gauge. I'm sure Remington has a left-handed out there. I really don't know that for a fact, but I would imagine that they do. Even if it's just 1187, uh, Winchester and Browning, there are no left-handed semi-automatics. Okay, so if you're in the market for a left-handed shotgun, Browning, Benelli, I mean, I'm sorry, Beretta, Benelli is what you want to look at. But if you want to take my word for it, the Benelli M2 20 gauge one shot gun, it's all you need forever. It's awesome. If you really, really, really want a 12 gauge with those three and a half inch loads, lighter recoil is the Beretta, lighter gun, and I would say smoother shooting is the uh, finale all right again just my two cents thank you for coming and sticking around y'all have a good one